Um, today, I would like to say something uh, about uh, the importance of, uh, of time management. Uh, because we see that when we use language, we, we tend to use uh, expressions like uh, time is of the essence. Don't waste time. Uh, uh, like what Shakespeare said, if you waste time, time will waste you. And um, efficiency of uh, time use is one of the indicators of uh, the seriousness uh, of a person. Uh, his dependability, um, his uh, discipline, they can all be uh, predicted from the way that they manage uh, the, their time. Um, I think everybody is conscious of uh, how to manage uh, uh, time. But sometimes, even if they have uh, uh, time, they would like to utilize it in a, in a productive way, maybe they don't know how to, to go about it. And uh, uh, because of this, time tends to be, uh, to be, uh, to be wasted. But uh, once they find something to occupy them, then uh, everybody would, uh, would use their time uh, as efficiently as uh, uh, is required. We, we tend to think uh, that uh, maybe we don't know, you know what to, uh, to do. And uh, if we don't know what to do, that's how maybe we, we drift into uh, social uh, media, and uh, in the social media, we just move, you know, from one site to to the next without uh, getting anything productive from such activity. But once their consciousness is uh, drawn to the fact that they can use their time in in particular ways, they can do such and such a, a thing, then uh, they can benefit from from that consciousness. That is why, for example. Uh, there are certain uh, websites that pay attention to this uh, phenomenon. Like uh, most readers would always you know, go and read particular newspapers. Uh, they would go and read particular journals because by looking at, uh, at those things, then they will know, you know what they should uh, do or what is there to be uh, to be done. Uh, just to give uh, a personal example, there are certain uh, websites that uh, I visit uh, regularly, almost on a, on a daily basis, on a, on a weekly basis. Like, uh, I spend a lot of time in, uh, uh, in Turkey, uh, and basically uh, Istanbul. But uh, there was hardly a day, a day that passed without me looking at the Daily Nation uh, because that's where I get uh, national news and keep abreast of developments in, in my own country. You know, as a Kenyan, I think I have a responsibility of, of knowing what is uh, going on in the, uh, in the, in the country. Um, and then there are websites like, uh, since I like uh, reading myself, um, the New York Review of Books, um, and later the London Review of, uh, of Books, uh, International uh, Educational uh, Supplement, which fills me in, you know, on uh, uh, new books 
that have come and tackle uh, particular ideas. And that uh, helps me to, for example, uh, uh, order uh, these books uh, through uh, Amazon or uh, get them um, uh, online uh, uh, immediately so that I can, uh, I can read them before uh, getting a copy you know, for, for my own um, uh, library. It is not true that uh, people don't like to read. Most people are literate. They must be doing a certain amount of, uh, of reading in, uh, in their lives. But uh, what most people maybe uh, are unaware that uh, they, sh they should actually be reading particular kinds of, uh, of things in order to improve their, their lives, uh, in order to, to develop uh, their intellectual uh, interests. So once you direct them you know, to those uh, institutions, then uh, they will change uh, their, their habits and will make uh, maximum use of, uh, uh, of their time and they'll become uh, more productive than what they would uh, uh, otherwise be. And uh, this uh, should be particularly um, addressed you know, to young people because they have, or they think you know, they have a lot of, uh, uh, of time. And uh, if they don't make use of, uh, uh, of that time, then they would have really have wasted their, their time because everything has to be done within a particular uh, time. Like for example, one cannot wait until one is uh, 95 years old and then go and get married. <laughs> you know? uh, because if you, if you do that, then you'd have gone against uh, actually laws of, uh, of nature. And uh, you know, people can decide, you know, uh, not to marry like uh, many people have, uh, have done that. But they uh, are forced you know, to, to take particular uh, positions for a variety of reasons, for political, social, economic uh, reasons. And uh, they are not uh, time wasters uh, themselves, but it is just the circumstances that uh, militate against uh, their normal use of, uh, of time. Uh, like, for example, we know uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, yeah, uh, one of those people who never married. Uh, but he couldn't marry because he was constantly thrown uh, in jail because, because of his opposition, you know, to the the rulers of his uh, time. So that is quite uh, understandable. But even when he was there, you know, he was productive because some people get time to, uh, when, when they're incarcerated, you know, to, to write, to think. And uh, a lot of uh, very interesting things have have come out of uh, 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 out of that, and uh, we are all what um, Gramsci, uh, Antonio Gramsci, uh, the Italian uh, intellectual, he said, we are all uh, organic uh, intellectuals, and organic intellectuals are people who by the very nature of their, of their profession are forced to think, to, uh, to, uh, to write. And he gave the examples of, uh, for example, uh, high school teachers. You know, those are 
examples of these uh, uh, organic uh, uh, intellectuals because they are constantly uh, grappling with ideas or thinking what to uh, to say, what to to write uh, next, because that is part of their um, of their education and uh, and background. Young people can um, usefully put their time to to good use by trying to to determine where exactly to go, you know, in the uh, in the social uh, media. And if you're in good company, of course. Um, you become a productive uh, individual. But if you're not in, in, in good company, then you just drift you know, from, from one side to another uh, fruitlessly. Consciousness of, of time is very, very important. And as the expression says, you know, time is of the essence. Because if you don't do a particular thing at a particular time, you would have lost your opportunity. Uh, this has been a, a proven thing. And as we noted earlier, one of the marks of a responsible, uh, dignified, socially and uh, politically conscious person is somebody who pays a lot of attention to, to time. When they tell their friends, you know, let us meet at, at a particular time, they would be there uh, before them. Uh, and when they are, they are there, you know, they are, they are happy because they don't want to be associated with uh, uh, irresponsible people or people who have no consciousness uh, about time. Because sometimes when you waste your time, you are also wasting other people's uh, uh, time. You know, we think that we only waste our time. But if you are interacting with other people, then you will also tend to, to waste other people's uh, time because they will be waiting for you. You don't uh, turn up uh, and they would have uh, made the schedule, their schedules on the basis of uh, the agreement about uh, meeting, you know, between you and, uh, and them. So uh, time has always been something that uh, uh, people had been uh, conscious of and they are a mark of the kind of person that uh, you are, the kind of person that you want to be and the kind of person that you, uh, you will be. You know, as a parent, for example, if your children uh, say that you, you don't keep your promises, you know, when you tell them um, something, you know, then they Although they will not tell you, they will know that, uh, you know, uh, my parent is extremely flawed uh, because he doesn't keep his promises. In, es in other words, they will not tell you that you, you are lying all the time, you know, to them left and right and center. But they say, you know, uh, you didn't do this particular thing for, for us. Yeah. So... Time is of the essence. Talking about uh, uh, time uh, management and uh, how time uh, determines one's uh, credibility, there is that uh, famous hadith uh, by, the, by Prophet Muhammad, on whom be peace, who said that uh, one of the characteristics of a hypocrite is that they never keep uh, time when they tell you, you know, um, they'll come at a particular time, they will never turn up at uh, that time. So uh, time um, management and time uh, consciousness is part of, uh, of faith. And uh, you are not born, you know, with uh, this capacity to, uh, to keep time. It is something that you you learn uh, like everything else. You know, gradually you uh, make adjustments, you correct uh, uh, yourself until you, you become such a person. 
until uh, that kind of, uh, of character becomes uh, second nature to you. So if it, bec it becomes a second nature, then um, it remains, you know, for the rest of your, of your life because you are constantly aware that in order to be credible, one has to keep one's word. And one of the ways of keeping one's word is by being uh, punctual.